Seven signs you've defeated the narcissist. Let's do it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tammy M. Joyce. I'm the founder of Tammy M. Coaching and the creator of the Freedom Class and the Ascension Class. If you'd like to learn more about how to become a coaching client, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. So let's talk about signs that you've defeated the narcissist. Now, the last thing a destructive narcissist will ever admit to is defeat. Their overinflated ego and false sense of superiority simply will not allow for it under any circumstances. The old saying, they'll cut their nose to spite their face, is never more true than when discussing the bizarre attitudes and behavior of a destructive narcissist, in particular when they're facing defeat. Now, that said, their distorted perception of themselves, you, and reality, along with their ever so slanted narrative, may be what it is, but that does not mean you have not succeeded in defeating them. Here are seven signs that you have indeed defeated the narcissist and now have the upper hand. Number one, their reaction to the truth. That's right. When you speak the truth and or call a narcissist out on their appalling attitudes and behavior, lack of boundaries, sense of entitlement, the way in which they protect and enable the other narcissists in the circle, whatever it is, you will inflict narcissistic injury and trigger narcissistic rage. So be smart and be careful here. No one's recommending that you set yourself up to be hurt unnecessarily. The point I'm making is this. When dealing with someone who has a destructive narcissist personality pattern, it takes nothing more than being a true speaker to set them off and defeat them, truly. All it takes is speaking the truth and they are fully defeated. And that's obvious by their reaction. Now, whether or not they admit to that is a whole other thing. A narcissist is never going to admit defeat, even when clearly and very plain for all to see, they have indeed been defeated. Assuming you're safe and operating from a position of strength, all it takes is to speak the truth, and I assure you, you have the upper hand, which in my view is clearly evidenced by the way in which they react to the truth speaker. Now, will you be hated? Absolutely. Will you be targeted? For sure. You cannot be both a truth speaker and on the narcissist team. That's impossible. The truth and the narcissist are like oil and water. They cannot comfortably coexist. The truth is fully repellent to a destructive narcissist. Why? Because their entire lives are built on a mountain of lies and deception. It's all an illusion, not least of which being their I'm such a wonderful human being performance. So needless to say, anyone who comes along and dares speak some truth into the situation is going to upset the apple cart in a big way. Remember when Dorothy threw water on the bad witch, what happened? That's what the truth does to a narcissist. So again, the first sign that you've defeated the narcissist is their reaction to the truth. And again, assuming you are safe and operating from a position of strength, speak it clearly, succinctly, and consistently. Then you tell me, by virtue of their reaction, by virtue of just how unglued they become, who has the upper hand, for real. Number two of signs you've defeated the narcissist, their reaction to boundaries. Mm -hmm. Want to know who and what you're dealing with? Set a boundary, have limits. Draw a clear line in the sand. Say no. The narcissist's reaction to boundaries is like their reaction to the truth. Nothing short of ugly. And that, my friends, spells defeat. Are you following my drift so far? Want to defeat a narcissist? Begin with the dirt honest truth and some good old fashioned limits and boundaries. Boom. That's all it takes. Next on the list of signs you've defeated the narcissist, number three. When gaslighting does not work anymore. When a narcissist can't succeed in gaslighting you, again, you'll be in for a dose of narcissistic rage. This is when their true colors come to light. The mask slips entirely and you get to see the real deal, the reality of who and what you're dealing with as opposed to the false image and fake phony persona they parade around with. 
Now again, you know you've defeated the narcissist when they cannot succeed in gaslighting you. They know it and you know it and they are none too happy about it. Another sign you've defeated the narcissist is when they're stalking your social media profiles for real. Green with envy little looky-loos that they are, they can't drop a like or a comment to endorse or support you in any way. No, they're far too envious and stingy of spirit for that. But they do stalk. They scan all the socials like creepy little voyeurs peeping through your living room windows thinking you don't know. It would actually be comical if it weren't so sad. You know you've defeated the narcissist when you're busy living your best life, walking off into the sunset, doing your thing, whatever it is you do best, happy as can be. Well, they seem to have nothing better to do with their time than to stalk you on the interwebs. I'd call that defeat, a clear defeat. Now comment below and let me know if you're finding value in this video. Let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in one of my coaching programs, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. This is for you if you're ready and able to invest in yourself and your healing and recovery journey. If you want the pain to stop, you want to find a way out of the fog, confusion, self-doubt, fear, and anxiety brought on by having been exposed to empathy-impaired emotional manipulators who feel entitled to hurt you, and worse yet, blame you for the hurt they cause. If that's you, the link is in the description below this video. Next on the list of signs you have defeated the narcissist, number five, they inundate your email or direct messages and usually with idle threats, personal attacks, and insults. Whatever they believe they can say to go directly for the jugular and inflict maximum injury. In other words, all manner of nonsense and insanity. <laughs> I remember vividly back in 2009 when I finally mustered the strength and courage to stand up and speak the truth with regard to a major family issue. One narcissistic relative spent two full days spewing the most vile nonsense into not one but two of my voicemails. This was back when we had landlines and cell phones. Now, naturally, my having said the thing out loud I wasn't supposed to say, motivated by nothing other than wanting to keep some children safe, well, the lid was about to come off of their ever so perfectly curated and well manicured image and lifestyle. So, of course, the backlash was something else. What the truth does to the narcissist, right? Now, you know they're desperate and defeated when they spend the better part of 48 full freaking hours dialing and spewing nonstop until they finally have to surrender to the reality that, like it or not, the truth has been let loose. And their insane reaction isn't having the desired effect. They have lost control, fully. So again, back to speaking the truth is all it really takes to defeat a narcissist. Now, are they likely to lie through their teeth till their last dying breath saying whatever it takes to discredit the truth speaker and assassinate their character in every possible way to anyone who will listen? Absolutely. And they may even get away with it for a decade or two. But here's the thing about that. The truth speaker has the truth on their side. The lying narcissist does not. So who do you think wins in the end? Number six of signs you've defeated the narcissist. They have to smear you to others. When a toxic person can no longer control you, they have nothing left but to try to control how others feel about you, how others see you, what they think of you. So count on the fact that when the narcissist realizes they cannot have their way with you, they will go out of their way to poison the minds and hearts of others towards you, even children. The classic smear campaign is an absolute sign that you've defeated the narcissist. Remember, it's all they have in terms of power over you. Now here's what's true about this. You really know you've defeated them when you finally get to the place in your healing and recovery where you are so freaking solid in the truth of who you are, you feel so good in your own skin, that there really isn't anything the narcissist can say that affects you. You know exactly who you are and who you are not. You know exactly what was and was not done and you're at peace, you're good. 
I was talking with one of my long-standing clients the other day, someone who is quite well known out there on the interwebs, and unfortunately, she continues to endure a toxic smear campaign as members of her family spread a fully distorted narrative about her and her life. Now, we were discussing the fact that you know full well you have healed when you are able and willing to let them, and by them I mean whoever believes the nonsense and buys the bullshit, you know you've healed when you can let them be wrong about you and go about your business, go about your day, your life, continuing to feel good about who you are, what you're up to, and where you're going. Let them be wrong about you and still be happy and at peace. This, my friends, is a beautiful place to be and a major sign that you have beaten the narcissist for real. Which brings me to my next point, number seven. They no longer have any power, influence, or sway over you. You don't fear them. You don't fear bumping into them. You don't fear seeing them. You don't fear what they think, say, or do. You could care less, actually. Truly. None of it matters. Whatsoever. You've healed all the old owies and wounding, and therefore they have nothing to poke at, nothing to trigger. They can't provoke you because you've done your work. You are completely detached, flatline, unfazed, and unflappable. The fear is gone. The anxiety is gone. The need to be approved of, validated, heard, seen, understood by people who fully cannot do that for you. Any of those things, in any real, genuine, or sincere way, the fear of all of that is gone for good. Instead, it's a new day. You're a new you. The you, you were always meant to be. The you, you came to the planet to be. And you're strong, you're clear, you are sovereign, and you are free. And that, my friends, is a very beautiful place to be. It's time now. And on that note, I'm going to call it a wrap. But before I go, I have a special announcement to make. You might be interested to know that the Ascension class is open for enrollment. And I'm so beyond excited to bring you this next level of growth, expansion, and evolution that is this transformational coaching program. If you want to go deep with me into the work of reinventing yourself after narcissistic abuse, then this is for you. Be sure to click on the link in the description below this video to apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team.